Hello everybody, here we have the SketchUp for the 3D printed parts. I have uploaded quite a few STLs to my Google Drive but I don't know which is which and you're probably better just getting SketchUp and loading this up and making your own. Um, there's a few changes that I made, I am using longer U bolts which now go right up from the U, uh, the UJ uh, mount, and they go right up into the bottom of the actuator, tighten down, and then all this is solid. Nothing's going to snap off. Same with the bottom. The extra longer bolts go through through that, and then you can screw down into the. Gives it a hell of a lot more support. I've had absolutely zero issues with the UJs, solid as anything. Um, the only thing that is quite uh, the next bit is the motor mount, which is here. These bolts, the screws that come with the motors are very short, um, and they did come loose on two of the actuators. So I've done, I used uh, some bigger, I think they might be M. Are they M5s? It could be M5s or M3, M4s, whatever they are. Um, I just used some Loctite, or in my case, uh, super glue. Probably better off using Loctite. Just screw them down as tight as you possibly can. Uh, hold that motor in place because uh, they do a hell of a lot of work and there's so much power in them little motors. It's unbelievable. There's a lot of random holes everywhere where I was putting brass inserts, but the easiest way is to just get it all together. And once it's all together, drill your holes into the plastic, then take it apart, and then put your brass inserts in to screw the aluminium together. Um, that's the uh, rod holder on top of the nut. Obviously, got the sliders at either side. The aluminium tube go through, and then six. Uh, and five bolts going all the way through right to the bottom holding that nut in place uh, I use some epoxy to put the aluminium tube into there obviously I've got two uh, screws at either side holding it in place as well but uh, it's not moved they're all absolutely solid uh, I'm really impressed how well all the parts have lasted so far like I say the only problem I've had with the motor, motor screws coming loose because of all the vibrations, I presume. <coughs> Sorry, God. God, leak off. Um, yeah, these here aren't really for support. They're just uh, there for spacing more than anything. Uh, once the aluminium tube's in there, that's holding all the weight. Um, so, yeah, just get it set up uh, as you should I'll upload the sketch you can do whatever you want with it I don't care chop it change it do whatever as long as no one tries to make money out of it I don't care I'm not interested do whatever you want with it uh, because it probably needs a lot of tweaking uh, you just have to play with your printer settings I'd print it all at 100% if I was to do it again I think I did it at 75 or 50 I don't know just to help with the compression of when you tighten the nuts and stuff down, it just, just makes it more solid. Um, but other than that, yeah, if I can do it, anyone can. Simples. Uh, there's the anti wobble. I think that one there is the one I used. I don't think half of these fit. But that's my anti wobble to go onto the end of the ball screw. Seems to work alright. I mean it's had hammer, it's had real hammer, and I mean it's had hours of constant use. Um, I think the most, probably nearly two and a half hours driving in a race, I think possibly something like that, because I've done quite a few which I've not streamed obviously, uh, but yeah you can make it out yourself. Like I say, the STLs are there, but 
all you have to do get the export STL plugin and create it yourself name it whatever you want and do whatever you want happy days so the link will be in the description I put a link in um, X simulator as well in the thread and yeah wait to see if uh, anybody else uh, goes down this route but like I say well not like I say but an easier route if you don't want to use the old drives I would recommend Thanos's AASD board and the servo motors I think if I was to do it again I think I'd definitely go down that route um, uh, just for the ease of use and the support Thanos is updating all his stuff all the time the old drives are just a nightmare to use there's no nice GUI or anything to set it up just a pain in the backside but yeah do what you want cheers everybody I shall see you in a bit I think I'm gonna do a, a tour of my rig next seeing as I'm at home and doing that much cheers thanks for watching bye bye